Hey guys, so Mike here, and we have the next banner reveal for Fire Emblem Heroes. It's based off Genealogy of the Holy War, so completely wrong on my end and all ends. I think my favorite video yesterday, I said Renolf on an unreleased hero. Not the case. So let's just go for it. And, okay, so those who pray, pay for peace for future. That's here, Shen Bao. So we have the Scion of Astra, Largy. In our land, the Crusaders are greatly admired to this day. Large Sail. I'm getting that name wrong for so long. Sorry, I've been thinking wrong character. Whirling. Oh, so she. I think she messed up. What was she again? She is a Green Axe Cavalry unit. Whirling Grace. A Satisfactory Code on Trigger, Code on Count Minus 1. At the start of combat. If her HP is about 25%, she gets attack speed, defense, press plus 5, and neutralize effects that guarantees the foe's follow attack and prevents her follow attack. And also, if she outspeeds the foe during combat, she neutralizes the penalty that inflicts, inflicts special cooldown minus X on units during combat. Then she has the, re the regular Astra, 2 charge cooldown, boosts damage by 40% of her speed, can't be inherited. Speed, defense, solo 4. If she snatches an ally, speed defense plus 4 during combat. Frenzy free. If she outspeeds the foe, reduces damage by... By... Oh, sorry, yeah. Reduces damage from attacks and area effects matches. So, don't know why, why I messed that up there. Excluding Roker's effects. Uh, sorry, excluding Roker's special. By percentage equal to the difference of speed times 4, maximum 40%. And if her HP is below, is below 50%, and she needs to combat... She can make a counter attack before the foe can counter attack. And then joint drive attack grants plus four speed to also in two turns. And if she's within two turns of an ally, she gets it as well. Oh. Don't treat me like a child. Next we have Sion of the Saint. This festival is dedicated to the twelve crusaders. Only a red tomb flying unit. Luminous Grace at the start of turn restores to 10 HP. At the start of combat, if your HP is still at 28%, grants attack speed plus 5 to unit during combat. And then rally speed res plus speed res plus 6 to target ally for one turn. Attack speed push 4 at the start of combat, if her HP is about 25%. Attack speed plus 7, but after combat, if she attacks, deals my damage. Which is nice to work with her luminous grits. Light and dark. Uh, it's exclusive to all Julies. Uh, can't, you can't chop church into other Julies. Infects attack speed, defense rate, minus two on the foe. Neutralizes the foe's bonuses from skills like fortify, rally, etc. And disable skills that you use ca calculate the damage using the lower foe's defense or res during combat. Does that have? So not bad. Uh, Archie is also crazy. <laughs> So next we have Wing Song Sion. The hearts of those who pursue salvation beat as one, now and always. So Luin is a blue tone energy unit. Drifting Grace at the start of turn, restores 10, 10 HP. And if, if it's easy to be 25% at the start of combat, attack speed plus 5. Then he has Luna. Uh, free, free, turn, free charge. Shoots foods, fence, and race. reduced by 50%. Okay, look, attack rest so free. If he's not just an ally, attack rest plus six during combat. And infantry flash. If allies in two spaces and infantry allies within two spaces are right, gets if they outspeed the foe, grants special calling count plus one on foe's attack. Well sorry, pro on units attack, not foe. So that could be nice to have. Win. Then we have Destined Scions. Leaf and Sigma. You certainly look smart. As do you, Prince. Hold What's fast. It? I think that's Sigurd. No, not Sigurd. Silif, it's Silif. Okay, it's Silif. 
Anyway, both there are also a color spot cabbage unit. Both the twi- both twelve effect against Vanius and sell special cooldown trigger, cooldown code minus one, enables counter one. And if the unit is combat or if you see speed so it's 75%, 75% at the start of turn, and focus using magic or staff, grants attack, speed, defense, press plus five to unit for one turn. If units HP is above one, oh sorry, and also if you see speed is above one, and the attack force attack reduced to help the zero, survives with one HP once per combat, does not stack. So you can use that and Miracle. Neuron, Neutron Steel, if you need this combat, grants under action to unit after combat, but when special triggers, inflicts restrict movement to one space to unit and power up cahoots for the next action. It's free turn cooldown, and it's close to himself. Attack speed cast four. Uh, I would say it's start of turn. It's start of combat. If full CP is 100%, and the penalty is active on foe. Attack speed plus seven to unit during combat. If both are applied, he gets an additional attack and speed plus two. S drink. At the start of turn, restores 99 HP and grants Patrick Cold on Code minus one. And then post mode. Inflicts Patrick Cold on minus one on foe and target when two spaces after combat. Of target after combat, no fact of specials of or hits the maximum cooldown. <laughs> so also we get to see your stats here. So one hit so 40 HP is okay, 54 attack, 41 speed, 27 defense, and 20 res. Okay. Let's move. That's just one canto. Harmonized skill grants the following effects to unit and allies from the same title as one term, which is Resident Blade, Desperation, and if you initiate this combat, they're guaranteeing a follow attack. So Resident Blade is plus four to attack and speed, and Desperation, if you initiate this combat, you can make a follow attack before the foe can counter attack. And it is a once per map. So you can use it outside. A blessing upon you all. Leave this to us. Fear yeah. not. I'm with you. And our chapter is Sion 12. Oh, it's still. So Nala, Aoya Nala is going to be our Tempest Child unit. Who's the Force Iron? Lumen is the Force Iron, it's available in two days. So, oh, I suppose because uh, Julia has Light and Dark, that's why they've made that a possible. So, shoot at the bat, uh, no doubt the dual unit is the pretty much strong unit. Lumen, he's fine with the Force Iron, you could probably get him and train him up a little. Uh... Julia is always going to be nice to have, although she has no way to fight dragon units this time around, but Lightning Dark, always nice to pick up. Uh, Larcel, pretty decent. So this banner might mean not a lot of a summoning for me, but I don't know. We'll see how things go. Next time it's trial is going to be an interesting one from what I can tell now. Uh, aside from that though, what do you guys think of the banner now? Let me know in the comments and stuff, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.